Okay, here we go with uh, episode four of our dodging flanky sort of newbie build series. Uh, when last we left our hero, we just got down to 450 feet. We recently switched to this awesome longsword and the shield uh, to get our protection up. The issue is that we're not getting a charge bonus out of the sword because it's only three pounds. Um, we could rush to momentum, but that seems a bit extreme just to get the damage on the charge. Um, we might get there a little bit later. I'd rather go for zone of control um, first. I'm going to hold off on that a bit though and maybe work on our will and um, more melee just to make sure we can hit everything. So without further ado, um, the monsters we're going to be looking out for on this floor are orcs, orcs, and more orcs, um, more easterling archers, Sulroko, the invisible, impossible to damage. Demons tend to show up around here, but we have a helmet of true sight and a big weapon, so that's not a big deal. Um, and as long as we don't get any early shadow spiders, we should be okay. Oh, right, I gave these things inscriptions now. Oh, do I have too much stuff? That's annoying. I thought I fixed this already. Or maybe I just talked about fixing it and didn't do it. That's the story of my life. Um, I'm just going to drink this clarity potion for lack of a better thing to do. Well, I thought it would move. I guess not. Anyways. Okay, uh, what's our clock at? 350, that's not terrible. Nice. Uh, <laughs> it's like a little smiley face opened up around us. Hi, hi, welcome to Angband. So I think this might be another big-ass floor. Yeah, it's, it's pretty big. Okay, so I'm going to run headlong into this thing so I get the charge bonus. I just want to hit it. Uh, luckily it worked. We have some will now, I think. Did I buy some? Yeah. So the, the odds of getting dex drained by those things is, whoa, smaller. Um, so the problem with Aldor, I, I colored him blue in my version because he, I think, often looks like an archer, and I'm mega confused when he like walks right up and punches me in the face for mega damage. Uh, I think he has a really high protection. So for him, the great sword would probably be a better idea. And honestly, if I get a good run up to him, I might just be able to, like, really hurt him on one charge. So let's see what happens. Our protection's terrible now, though, and he hits really hard. Oh, 2d8. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Um, hopefully he doesn't shimmy backwards. Freaking spy. Alright, that was a bad hit. Okay, so I think what I'll do... Hey, what's that herb? Oh, it's a red. I might try to pull them back up into this room so I can flank them. And then if things go awry, I'll make a beeline for that staircase. I don't think there's quite enough of them to really trap me. Because that spy isn't really going to get involved in the brawl. I might bring them into this room. Oh, I hate it when this happens. So the, those Easterlings might be flanking me right now, but Alder's not. This is bad news. So let's see if I can get him down here. What I really don't want is for him to flee. Oh, I also don't really want to die. That's, that's a bad thing. Okay. So I handled that poorly. Let's think about what to do here. Whenever this happens, it's it's usually best to stop and, and use your brain. Um, I have a bit of experience. Aldor is not right next to me right now, so could be a lot worse. I think I have a Staff of Majesty, which I don't, so never mind that. Um, a smart thing to do here, we got an early Quickness Potion, so we could drink that and get some more time, probably heal. I think I have some liqueur. Unfortunately, I just drank my clarity potion. 
And you know, if I'd used my brain, I would have one-handed the battle axe with the shield instead of two-handing the greatsword. That was the whole point of carrying that axe around. So, let's grab some quickness. Oh, and I have healing. Hmm. What shall I do? I'm tempted to run into a corridor. Just to buy some time. Oh no, but I'm hurt now, so they'll chase me into the corridor because my their morale will be high. Okay, so quickness first. Healing next. Yeah, this is fine. And now let's see if I can kill this warg. I don't really want to go towards the corner. Let's see if I go up. Yeah, that works. Okay, so he's in my face. I'm gonna switch to my shield first. And now I'm gonna grab my axe. Oh, is he arrow? Uh, I thought there was a Eastling warrior that shot me. Sorry, an archer. So that giant coming back is actually probably the worst part of this. Um, and so now we're killing dudes. That's fine. Wow. Nice damage. Okay, fine. Let's drink some liqueur. Uh, this is sort of annoying, actually, when uh, when you have high protection. Once your HP goes low, uh, when you get hit, even if they do no damage, it'll tell you it'll fire the low hit point warning. stuff. Good stuff. Who am I right now? That's me. Okay. This is one of the worst things about fighting Australians is you never know who you are. Okay. So that could have been a lot worse. I'm going to grab... I guess... Oh, did I already drink healing? Hmm. I think I have some turns. I'm going to drink one of these. Sweet. Not bad. Okay, so. We used up a ton of consumables, but we had more than we should have anyways. What I don't want to happen at this point... Ah, oh, you jerk. I really don't want him to run away. So I'm going to get in the way of the stairs. Like, he might kill me before this even matters, but... Good. So this spy, I don't care about. Just seriously, get out of my face. And this is exactly what I talked about. So this is actually the worst thing ever. Yeah, throwing axes are so buff. Okay, so that was good, actually. So let's let's revisit what just happened there. Um, we got into trouble and we got it. That was probably the best thing. Um, really, in that case, if I had stuck with the axe and the shield at the very beginning, I think we would have been a lot better off. Um, I got overconfident, or I just got stupid. I didn't realize we had that axe. But that's the whole reason I was bringing it around. Um, similarly, a really good bastard sword can do the same thing. Uh, they tend to come too light, but at least you can hit stuff with them. Uh, I'm going to fuel my lamp. Uh, we were lucky with the giant, he could have like one hit KO'd us, but basically the quickness bought us some time for us to um, fix our mistake. And then uh, I kind of jigged with the AI. Pack AI does funny things. When you run away, they'll shuffle around each other and stuff. Uh, and then I came down this hall. Uh, things could have gone really badly if monsters came out of here, because I was hurt. And they would have charged me in that hallway, but that's, that's another story for another time. If that had happened, my next... Um, move would have been to eat this rage thing, which I probably should have just done um, in the first place, because those are more common than some of these consumables. The good thing, though, 
is that we drank our last quickness, our first and last quickness potion, and now we have an extra inventory slot, so that's handy. So look on the bright side. All right, let's get moving. Uh, although Aldor didn't drop squat, except for the thing... Did he seriously just drop a torch? That's pretty bogus. Okay, I'm going to switch back to my... Uh, sure. Throwing weapons are really effective against spiders, because they're very squishy, and they're easy to hit. There's... Uh, Okay, if this is a shadow spider, I'm just going to rage quit, but if it's a bat, which I suspect it is, or not. Oh, it's a lurking horror. Okay, that's not bad. So they're slow, and I think they only attack you if they're in... Oh, where'd he go? Yeah, so these guys aren't that bad. Um, they will try to entrance you by biting you. That used to be an instant death, basically, because... Uh, they could chain and trance you, but not anymore. So as long as you can see them, they're not that scary. And if we hadn't had inner light, I'm not confident that we would have seen them. Those are way lighter. So I'm going to switch to these because um, this dude... Here's one of the qualms I have about going dodging and flanking. It's not a big one. Um, dodging is sort of a tree root for... Flanking, sprinting, which is also really good, and it's great with flanking, actually. We'll buy that later. Blocking is a tree root for um, heavy armor use and controlled retreat, I think. Yeah. Oh, flanking works too. Wow, I didn't know that. But uh, long story short is, in order to get heavy armor use, which would be great with this build, we have to buy blocking, but we also want to buy sprinting. Um, and it's just a lot. Like, to buy these two abilities just to get a few points of protection seems like a lot. So I, I usually just double up on protection rings or something uh, if I want to keep my, my low evasion, high protection thing going. Um, so the gist of that is I don't really need to carry around all this clangy armor. The gauntlets and the gloves are equivalent, uh, the ones that we found at least, except this one's two and a half pounds lighter. So I'm just going to get rid of these. Hopefully, I think these can just as easily, yeah. Gauntlets don't have any, like, more durability than gloves. Uh, it's just as easy to trash your gauntlets as it is to trash your gloves. So we don't need to worry about that. Sure. And we got one of our healing potions back, so that's handy. We just need more quickness. Ah! And wasn't there a piece of dark bread somewhere around? I'm just going to eat that. Yeah. The only reason I remember is because I'm actually hungry, like, right now in real life. Uh, okay. I'm really disappointed in that old arc hall. I was hoping to get real stuff. Sure, let's go explore there. This is, I'm not exploring efficiently. This is a big waste of turns, but. Mm. Okay, whoops, sorry guys. This is a case where, you know, there's two semi-dangerous monsters around me, but I'm gonna kill the worms with extreme prejudice because of this reason. Um, is that another set of handy gloves? Ah! Were they there the whole time, or did they just come up the stairs? Hmm. You know what? Um, this would be a good place to wield the greatsword, because we'll get more light. Because it glows when the wolves are around. So I'm keeping these wargs around. Oops. Just so I can get some extra light. And... Um, not get blinded by these things. Is this really worth it? I don't know. So far, not so much. I wonder if this... Ah, uh, darn it. I was going to say, I wonder if this ward knows I'm just keeping him alive for reasons. Okay, this is what I consider adding on. So I'm just going to jig around here to see if there's any stuff that I can take. No. But otherwise... Y'all can just have that room. There's other downstairs. Ugh. Oh, there's more. Ooh, wow. Fun times.
Of course, the one that I was fighting before I came. Oh no, I killed him. Never mind. Okay, so this is one of the detriments of using a slay weapon is that they, after you kill a few of them, they run, which is annoying. It, it inflicts an extra morale penalty to them when, when one of them dies. I don't think I can tell if my... I wanted to see if my sword was glowing or not, but you can't tell in the GCU port. Uh, if this was normal, like the Coco port or something. That's another... Oh my gosh, this is awful. Okay, so let me think. I think I can move down here. And then, let's say the giant moves... I think he'll try to swing at me, and then I can move down. So let's try that. Yeah. I just didn't want to get trapped. What the hell? So the bad thing about this is that intelligent monsters, when there's more than one in the round, they'll adopt pack behavior. So uh, they're going to behave like orcs. If this was three orcs, they'd behave the same way. And I do not want to fight. Wait, what am I wearing right now? OK. Well, hmm. the good thing about giants is they drop stuff. Where is the nearest staircase? Let's see if I can actually do this. No, not with the solar rope around it. This is probably a bad idea. Okay, not bad. Good stuff. Okay. Oh, I forgot I have follow through too. That's kind of handy. So, um, stairs down there. It's entirely possible that, that monsters have shown up in those stairs now, so I'm going to... Jesus. Okay, good. So that's the worst of it. These guys aren't super dangerous. Um, we only had to walk halfway across the level. Nice bow. Take that. That's something of... Sh oh, cool. Casting shadows. Uh, you know what? I just wonder. I don't know if there is anything. I, oh, I have light. Okay. So what does this do? The harshest of few in our sons and quick to anger. Yeah, he really was. Proves yourself by four. That's neat. If you had like a sneaky build, it'd be cool. This is the polar opposite of that build. Um, I just equipped a new bow, right? Did I keep it in my inventory? I sure did. So let's drop that. Nice. Okay, so that was... Whoa. Oh, I forgot about you. Um, let's see if I can just kill it with a lock. Good. Okay. Spears of Gondolin. Sweet. Those would have been good a long time ago. After Orc Depth, Gondolin stuff isn't super useful anymore. Are you kidding me? Why can't I see this thing? I wonder if there's like a shadow worm and a horror? No, what the hell? I don't know. Good thing I kept that light stuff around. Screw that guy. Uh, I might have to make a hotkey for this true sight helm. I wonder if... Oh, I thought it was dark here. I'm not going to get much utility out of these light stabs, so I'm going to just use them now. Wow. Father and son. Reuni okay, so this is the worst pack to have for one of these guys. Because... There's a bazillion. Oh, it's a forge. Figures. 37 health. 40. Oh, wait. So, wait. Did I kill the harder one? 
I guess this guy hits harder, or um, easier, but has less protection. 550. Well, I guess, you know, I have monster memory, let's go see. No monsters. People, I think they call them. Yeah. So he hit less, but had terrible evasion and good protection. We care up to four good objects. Good object. This guy sucks. Why is he even in the game? Uh, one good object. Give me a break. No, maybe we'll this way later. Okay, so... Hmm. What we could do now... Sorry, I'm spazzing everywhere. Is... How far away from me? Hardiness, are we? Hardiness gives you will over six extra protection. If we take one more, it will. We're only 1v1. Hmm. But I need 500. Yeah, why not? We were going to get it anyways. Cool. So these archers, kind of a problem, I guess. Was there a stair in here? You know, I think, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk down here and stop there. And I think what will happen is he'll chase me. Probably, if I stand at this mouth. But the archers won't. I think they'll, we'll see. Let's give this a shot. And then I can just kind of um, jiggle up and down in front and hopefully bash his face in before anything bad happens. So at first, though, I need to make them shout. Might as well try to kill a couple archers while I can. Why is he? Oh, he's panicking because he's. Why is he trying to get away? He's not. Uh, if you see the message that some dude panics, don't believe it. Uh, I think what happens is when a monster tries to use its AI pathing and it can't, it panics. I don't know. Its brain explodes or something. Okay, so this is his ideal scenario for this. Oh, I still have one. That was done. I want this. Okay, so now this is the case where. He's pretty close to being dead. So I, what, the absolute last thing I want him to do is run back this way. So I'm going to pull him out here a little bit. And now I can come off. There we go. And now his buddies will run. Or maybe they didn't see it happen. So healing. Nice boots. These are a good like early game artifact pair of boots. Um, they make the dungeon glow behind you. Uh, it's like dipping your feet in glow-in-the-dark paint and then track and ground everywhere. Uh, so I'm going to put those on. And the reason why that's good is if, if you're low on light, you can actually do like ridiculous things. Like If there's a shadow spider chasing you, you can try to make it run through your footprints, and you'll get an extra light radius. Uh, and it just the plus one evasion is just nice to have. And I think before, I just had 1d1 boots anyways that were stealth or something. So now my stealth is awful, but we can just put a couple points in. Where don't you anymore? Um... Go back to my sword, I guess. All right, let's try to get these guys down here. Oh, screwed that up. No. I miss keyed. What's this room look like? I hope this is a dead end, is it? Oh, sweet. If you're wondering if this is as annoying as it looks, yes, it really is. I should try playing with delay totally off, because it's... The archers themselves aren't bad, it's just... It, it's really jittery when they're shooting all these things at you. Wow. Good light game. I hate it when they duck in the corner like that. I feel so bad. Um, okay, so I still have enough room. I think 5,000 turns, another 3,000, 8,000 turns of light. Uh, if I pick up one more thing that's important, I'm just going to drop all my torches, I guess. And this is really silly. I know people are going to look at me and laugh at this, but... Um, 
I think I'm just going to put a, I don't like having negative stuff, but it's ridiculous, but it just, it drives me crazy. I try to bump it up. I just noticed, like, even bumping it up to one or two, it may be all in my head, but it really makes a big difference. And I don't know why. It's probably, I should get a corslet that isn't this heavy. We'll figure it out. It's a fun little boxy room. Oh, sweet. Oh, no. I have Loremaster. Never mind. Okay. So let's get ourselves into trouble here. Some of these things. Okay, fine. I was hoping I could kill it without my tree site helm. Lots of bows. Uh, <laughs> nice. Why am I even doing this? Oh yeah, right. I thought there might be something on the floor. Totally not worth it. Uh, and then there must be a door here somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to find it though. Hmm. I wonder what happens if you use a Staff of Freedom in this case. Maybe this one just doesn't have anything in it. If I had uh, something I could dig with, I'd dig granite with at least. We're wasting a lot of turns. I might call it a level pretty soon. Who am I? I should change the color of these Julian Warriors too. This is. Ridiculous. Where are you guys going? What just happened there? Orc Warrior Award. Nothing serious. Oh, although I don't want to fight a flanking battle in this weird room. Actually, even this one's not great. Uh, you may... So, um... You notice how these, like, they are weird dots of light, and it kind of looks like here that there's a shadow monster? That's one of the repercussions of using these boots, because they light up the floor behind you. You'll feel like there are patches of shadow, but really they're just patches where you didn't walk. Um, so don't freak out. It's Bulldog! Or potentially my orc. Let's uh, bring him out here. Do kind of the same thing. This archer is ridiculous. Wow, nice hit. Okay. I think those arcs are going to run away. That's a really good spear for certain things. Another dagger of accompaniment. Not too bad. Um, do I want to carry this with me? I already have a great sword of Doriath, but I can't wield that one-handed. That would actually solve some of my problems. Maybe I'll get rid of this. Oh, but... I'm trying to think, well, I need that sword to kill spiders. You know what? Let's solve this problem by dropping all our torches. Oops. Nope, nope, nope. And I'll bring it with me. This thing just comes in like, I always laugh at it because I think it's not great. But then it comes in oddly useful sometimes. Or a lot of the times. Just because, um, in this case where I have a two-handed weapon, a door at, uh, in the instances where I just want to kill a... a Wolf. Uh, the Spear Bulldog slays wolves, but not spiders. Uh, so I can use it without uh, losing my shield and still do good damage and, and skip and stuff. And especially against werewolves later, it's, it's really handy. But uh, against Shadow Spiders, I really want the Great Sword of Doriath because it, it creates light.
I really shouldn't be fighting in these narrow halls. I'm really not scared of orc warriors, but see, then stuff like this happens. Okay, this is a weird little place. Nice axe. I'm tempted to bring that along, but not practical. They're, I love those weapons, but they never seem to work out. I just like big dice. And I cannot lie. What is here? Nice glaive. What is, are these all the orcs that ran away from Bulldog's pack or what? Hmm. I'm wearing a useless amulet right now, right? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna drop. This helmet or truth site, it's cool. It's good to be able to have it and stuff. But, um, this amulet of haunted dreams. I'm gonna destroy it. I think I'm wearing um Yeah, an amulet of adornment, so I'm gonna drop that. And then I'll just use this amulet of true sight, uh haunted dreams as a swap. Um Why is that better? Oh right, because I won't lose evasion or stuff. So I'll have to fight wraiths and stuff, but they're I mean the only things that are dangerous are shadows and you get some time. And I probably won't need to use it that much. Okay, this last words. Um, Archers, what's our min depth? I kind of like to be a little bit more ahead of the clock in this, but I also am strangely tempted to explore levels. Why is that troll just sitting there? He's just so chill. Why are you worrying, man? Hi, spider. Okay, so now I'm starting to play Claire Carol. This is the problem with playing elves is that you hit this power curve and you're like, oh, nothing can kill me. Um, and then you do dumb things like this. I'm not switching weapons and stuff. But I really just want to get off this floor. Oh, bad shot. Where did my axe go? Did somebody take it? Oh, no, I must have lost one a while ago. No, I have four. Uh, that's probably one of those things I'll go look at the video after and be like, oh, you idiot, you threw it over here or something, but for crying out loud. Okay, that's enough of worms. Let's see ya. Okay, so there's only one area we haven't really explored that's down here. Let's go check it out. Just play with this for fun. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, so this might have actually almost been worth it. Um, I can't remember if these vaults have two or four barrel whites, but I think it's just two. Oh, no, it was four. <sighs> I can't believe this is actually worth it. I was convinced it wouldn't be. Just wanted, I thought uh, something was hitting me that was uh, invisible. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, they can do that too? Cool. I thought only the grave whites could gesture in shadow. Alright. Dead people, zero, me, a lot. That's more useful than nothing. Nice shield, same as mine. How heavy is mine? 
5 pounds, this one is 4 pounds. Is mine immune to the elements? Yeah, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, I don't know if that means it can't be acid damage, but I think it does. And I would rather have a shield that can't get corroded than one that is lighter. I might have a hard time with this chest, so let's see. Nope, fine. Why do I keep getting stabby things? These Swords of Shadows are pretty cool if you are a singer. Curved Swords, though, are pretty terrible. You, however, are not terrible. I guess I could offhand it, but that's not what the point of this build is. Yeah, you know what? Oh, the free action would be nice, too. Is there anything coming? So, the next floor, 500. The only thing that free action is really useful for is dragons. And we're not going to be dragons for a while. Uh... Is there anything else that are oath rates will entrance, but they're not till much later. And I'm sure as hell I'm not gonna use a short sword against them. So yeah, this we can just skip this thing. As much as I'd like to have it. I'll drink this up the floor for the food. And we'll leave the rest of the stuff there. I mean, it's kind of a bummer to get an artifact that you don't really want to use. Uh, the experience is great, but that's about it. And you know what? Just to hasten things along, we're doing okay, like we're feeling pretty strong. Uh, I think this is a shaft. Yeah, let's just shaft down, because we're... We killed three uniques on this floor, we did pretty well. Uh, there must be an orc or something. Troll. Wow, do you guys just, like, breed? What the hell? Oh, wow. Okay. Thanks for dropping that ring hunger, giant. These true sight things aren't really... I'm keeping them around because shadow spiders blind you, and it, it's good to be able to cure that really quickly. Okay, forget it. I'm out of here. Okay, so I said that I wanted to cover a couple floors per video. I've sort of artificially done that here by taking a down shaft. Um, we have a ton of experience right now. Which I will decide how to spend next time. Let's put it that way. So I think probably what will happen is we could crank melee up to 15, that would make me happy, and then do other stuff. The other thing we could do is, crank. see, taking one point of will here will we'll bump our protection. We're really close to being able to buy constitution, so I might just gun for that, but, uh, hmm. 550, we're getting awfully close to the point where it's going to get hard to hit stuff, so I might do this, and then look for uh, a chance to take zone of control. Then we'll get a lot of attacks, we'll get a lot of carryover out of that, and kind of can figure things out from there. Cool. Alright, I'm happy with that. Uh, good game. We burned some consumables that I wish we hadn't against Zalfang, but it could have been a lot worse. We could be dead. And we're starting to build up a, a nice little collection here for this step. And we're minimally ahead of the clock. So, uh, Hopefully next time we'll be able to buy a couple more fun abilities and find some cool stuff. I will see you guys next time.